So you made it. I had to sit down for this particular section because it's really one of the most important pillars you need to build in your life. By the end of this model, you're going to understand the importance of failure and how you can use it to really create the life you want. Because trust me, without failure, you can never achieve your dreams. This is 100% true. I know that you've been taught that failure is a bad thing. You know, from childhood, when you go to school and fail, your parents want to criticize you, they want to humiliate you, they want to do everything possible to make you feel bad. But you don't have to feel bad because you failed. Because failure is a learning process. And I want to show you how you can use failure in your life to get what you want. Because trust me, you are going to fail. You are going to fail a couple of times before you can get it right. This is just the way things is. You cannot, there's no, there's no like one try and everything is just 100% perfect. No, you have to try and try and try and try and try, try a couple of times before you can make it happen. So when it comes to your life, ensure you know the importance of the temporary failure you are going to face. Don't make them pull you down, rather use them to your advantage to create the life you want. When I first got married, something happened. You know, I, I lost some money and I was not able to provide for my family anymore. And that time my, my daughter was just around some few months old. And I realized that I had failed my family. I failed my own daughter. Somebody who has been so strong in pursuing his goal now feels so powerless. I could not even buy Pampas. It was so difficult. So my rent was about to expire, I think. So I had to sell my car to pay my rent. And we started trekking. I would get into a bike and keke to take my, my daughter to the hospital for medical checkups and all those things. And I really felt like a failure. That was one of the most depressing times in my life. And I almost thought about committing suicide because it was really so embarrassing and shameful. I was somebody who was living fine, driving a car worth over four million naira at that time. And I was really living the life, you know, everybody was really looking at me like, yeah, that's a big boy and all this shit. But now I was in a state where I had failed. People were looking at me, you know, they were not saying anything, but you could tell that they were judging you. Like you could tell that people were just looking at this person like he's a total failure and cannot provide for his family. But at the moment where I felt like giving up, you know, I remembered my daughter, that I remember the life that I would create for her if I give up. I remember how hard the life is and I didn't want to be the kind of father that gave up on my child and allowed her to suffer the way I did. So I decided I was going to work hard and get out of that mess. Because the truth is this, whatever mess you create in your life, you are the only one that can get yourself out. This is just the way it is. I made some dumb mistakes by not investing my money well and eventually I lost a lot of money and it ruined my life. And now I was in a mess and I knew that I had to get myself out of that mess. I was a failure. I knew that I had to get out of that mindset of a failure. And immediately I looked at things differently. I asked myself some certain questions. What could I have done to avoid this kind of mess in the future? Like what could I have done to avoid me leading into this path? And the minute I started asking those questions, I started seeing better decisions I could have made that would, have, that would have avoided me getting to that level. And I decided I was going to do things differently. That was the most important decision I made in my life because when I saw myself as not just a failure, but as someone who was learning and trying to figure life out, I discovered that I had the power and that was the power to try again. You know, I had failed. I had done things differently. I made this a poor decision and yeah, I was, you know, in a mess. And I knew that the only way to get out of that mess was to really make different decisions. And the only way you can make different decisions is by learning from the, the past poor decision you made. And that is why failure is so, so important in your growth. The fact that you took this course shows that you want to change your life. It shows that you want to create something better for yourself. And this means you are going to go against every single thing in your life and you're going to fail a couple of times.
you're not just going to get the millions you're looking for from just opening your computer and trying to make money online the first time i failed so many times tried so many methods did so many things just to try to figure out the way that i can make money online but the failure has led to me discovering something new and when I apply that thing new, it gets me to another level again where I fail again and I discover something new. This is the process you would need to work if you are willing to create the life you want. It's not going to be easy. There are going to be a lot of setbacks, a lot of obstacles, a lot of failures. But it's important that you know how to use failure to your advantage. Because for so many people, when they fail, they panic. They get confused, they get angry, they get sad, they, they start feeling like I want to give up just because of those temporary failures, because they want to get things perfectly. And that's not the way the world works. You have to fail a lot of times. Thomas Edison, who is considered one of the greatest inventors that has worked this world, was considered a failure when he started his career. He was the one who invented the light bulb. It's the reason why you have light in your house today. And before he was able to discover and invent the light bulb, he conducted 1,000 failed experiments. 1,000 failed experiments. That means he failed 1,000 times, but he was willing to try again 1,000 one time before he was able to discover the light bulb. How many people are willing to go through that level of failure just to get that perfect idea that works, that will change their life? If you're not willing to go through that process, then you're not willing to be successful in life. Elio Mox, who is considered the richest man in the world today, he said there was a point in his life when, when he was faced with a decision to either sell off his company or go bankrupt. But he decided to invest all his money into the company and if the company was going to die, let it die. But he knew that he wanted to give everything he had. And he did that. And everything sprung up from that moment. Like his life changed from that moment. And that is the reason why he's the richest man today. He had failed so many times, tried so many companies that, that didn't succeed before he got the first company right, before he got the second company right. Your failures helps you develop resistance when you have resistance then you'll be able to go for anything you want whether the thing proves hard to get or not you will still go for it because you know that eventually you are going to have it so many people give up because somebody said no if you are somebody who wants to be successful you are going to learn how to sell and in order to learn how to sell you have to be rejected a few times would you say because that girl refused to give you a number the first time, then you would not try again? No, you have to keep trying until she agrees. I want to give you a very funny story. So this was when I just left secondary school. I, I, I met this girl, very beautiful girl, very, very beautiful girl. And I wanted to make her my girlfriend at that time. So, you know, I was selling my mother's shop at that time. And I would save up some money and go buy her some gifts, try to win her over. I kept calling her every single day just to try to get her to be my girlfriend. She would tell me then, no, I'm not interested, I'm not interested. But she was very friendly, you know. I did this, I did it a couple of times over two months. And I decided that, man, I was not going to pursue this anymore and I gave up. Many years later, we met each other in school. We got admission into the same school and we met each other after like a year. I think we we're in our 200 level then and she said something to my friend he said ah you are the one who i wanted to give a chance i was actually considering giving you a chance when you stopped calling i was like damn it don't tell me that because it was annoying but i i learned a lesson there because when you give up that's when you don't know what's going to happen a lot of people give up because they failed but when you give up because of a failure then you you're not going to know what will happen next Abraham Lincoln, one of the greatest presidents of America, contested for presidencies seven times before he was able to win the eighth time to become the president. And he went down as history as one of the greatest. Like so many people who achieved greatness, not just 
become great overnight. They went through the process of failing, 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 and learning from their failures. That is how you can use your failure to better yourself. See failure as an opportunity to try again, to improve, to do better. Don't see it as the end of the world. Don't see it as something that will ruin you. Rather, see it as a process of learning. Because when you do that, that's when you can be able to create the life you want for yourself. 